Welcome into the American Digital Network studio. I'm Haley Outen. Last week, the conference became a little bit bigger and a whole lot stronger with the addition of Wichita State Athletics. And I'm now joined on the phone via Skype by a guy who played a tremendous role in this move, men's basketball head coach, Greg Marshall. Coach, first off, thanks for taking some time to talk to us today. And more importantly, a huge welcome. How does it feel now that you've had the weekend to let this announcement sink in? Well, it's, Haley, it's very um, exciting. Um, you start thinking about all of these great programs that we're going to be participating and playing against and competing against. And we hope that um, our guys are going to be up for the challenge. We obviously know that there's going to be uh, a step up in competition uh, with some great coaches, great players, great programs. So, but we're, we're, we're excited and looking forward to the opportunity to compete with these great programs. Now, in your 10 years at Wichita State, you've created a basketball brand and a program that is consistently in the national conversation. Why was this move to the American an important one for you and the future of your program? Well, we're trying to be in a league where there's multiple bids. And the Missouri Valley Conference for a long time has had uh, uh, multiple bids. But in the past uh, several years, there's only been us that, that have been able to obtain an at-large bid if we didn't win the conference tournament outright. So uh, getting in a conference with, with the name programs that we have here in the American, uh, the great coaches, um, we think that this is a, a league that could buy for a handful of uh, bids each and every year when all these programs are playing at their peak. Coach, you bring a tremendous resume to a league filled with some of the nation's best in the business. What is that going to be like coaching in a conference against some of the all-time greats like Kelvin Sampson, Tubby Smith, and Frank Haith, just to name a few? Well, the beautiful thing is I know many of these gentlemen uh, personally. Uh, Tubby Smith, when I was a 22-year-old assistant coach at Randolph-Macon, brought his son Gigi, his oldest son, to Randolph-Macon basketball camp while he was an assistant coach at VCU. So I met him there. Uh, then I, I've, I've known Kelvin Sampson for many years. I got a nice phone call from him the other day. Uh, no Frank Haith I, from the East Coast. I know uh, Fran Dunphy. Our teams have competed against each other. I know Jeff Lebo and Brian Gregory. So um, we're, we're very excited about this opportunity. Mick Cronin has done a wonderful job at Cincinnati, and the, and the list goes on and on and on about these coaches and, these, and, and the name programs. Coach Kevin Ollie won a national championship just three years ago at UConn. Yeah, and you'll see a lot of different programs on the court this upcoming season, but the good news for you is that you have a lot of familiar faces coming back on your team. How vital is that experience going to be, especially with the level of competition going up? Yeah, we're going to need it. Uh, we've got 10 guys that played quite a bit of basketball for us this past year. Our top 10, uh, in terms of minutes played, will be returning. And then we've got an opportunity to add a couple of guys as well. So we feel like um, our program is, is, is on a good level. Uh, we, we're, we've been NCAA tournament now for six straight years. We've advanced in the tournament the last five years. Um, so we feel like we're in a good, good, good position to be entering this league, and hopefully we can continue this uh, well into the future. Yeah, exciting times for your players, and a lot of people ask about your feelings joining a different league, but what has been the players' reaction, and what have your conversations been like with them regarding this process? You know, to be honest with you, we've kind of kept it under the vest. Uh, we haven't talked a whole lot about it up until Friday. Friday was a day off for us from a basketball perspective. This afternoon will be the first time that I will have seen many of these guys. I had three gentlemen over to my house last night on Sunday uh, for dinner, and they were excited. So I get a chance to meet with the rest of them today during our individual workouts, uh, and I'm sure that that, that is program-wide, the excitement, uh, just the new challenge that they'll be facing, the new cities that we'll be going into, world-class cities. So uh, we're just we're real uh, pumped up about the, the change, and, and my players now know that they've got some work in front of them to improve this spring, this summer, into the fall, so that we can be ready to, to win some games and not just compete uh, coming uh, this upcoming season. Lastly, for fans that are still getting to know more about you guys and who haven't made the trip to your home court yet, what can they expect that atmosphere to be like? 
Well, Wichita State is a, is a wonderful place uh, to coach college basketball and play college basketball. Uh, I don't know how fun it is for an opposing team because we have wonderful fan support. Um, I've been the coach now for 10 years, and we've had 10, 10 straight years of 10,000-plus. If we toss a ball up, there's 10,000 fans in Coke Arena here on our campus. It's a little bit of a snake pit to play in. We also have uh, Interest Bank Arena, which is our arena downtown that holds 15,000. Once in a while, we'll go down there and play a couple of games. So we've had a wonderful home court advantage, and people appreciate basketball. Uh, if you play hard, you play the game the right way, you share the basketball, and you care about winning, uh, our fans will be um, – a very, very in tune with what's going on and supportive of a, hopefully another shocker victory. All right, Coach. Well, we look forward to making the trip to Wichita this upcoming season. We're excited to have you in the American. Looking forward to a great season ahead and many more of these conversations to come. Thanks again. Thanks for having me and, and, and uh, hope, hopefully meet you soon <laughs> and look forward to uh, have a great spring, okay? Thanks a lot, Coach. Talk to you soon.